Smitty, and I'm ready for some Quiplash. The great thing about a fresh game is that right now, you're all tied for first place. And last. Time for round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's and decide who wins. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Okay, here we go. The first prompt is a question an insecure god would constantly ask. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. Your next prompt is a rejected title in the Magic School Bus series. The Magic School Bus goes to blank. Get to voting. Next one, what God probably smells like. Vote now. Coming up next, the reason everyone loves Tom Hanks is blank. Ready, set, vote! Next on deck, something in 98% of all cargo pants pockets. It's voting time! That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. <laughs> Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one.
cards on the table. Our first prompt is an item that never sells at a garage sale. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Up next, the best way to escape the inside of a whale. Vote on your devices. Next on the list, the worst thing to hear during a massage. Okay, vote. Next prompt, a rejected superhero vehicle, the Blank Mobile. Put in your votes. <laughs> Moving on, something you should never think about while meditating. And vote. That's all for round two. Light up that scoreboard. And now round three, the last lash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Make up the full name for this acronym. Moment of truth. In the final round, you can give out one gold, one silver, and one bronze medal to your top three quips. Make them count. Raise yourselves, here come those medals, bronze, bring out the silver, and now the gold. Great, let me just turn those medals into points for you. We're done, let's see the final scores.
Welcome to the game. I'm Schmitty, but please don't tell my parole officer I'm here. Take a good look at your fellow players. These are your enemies. Crush them. Here's round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Let's take a look. Prompt number one is the one thing that depresses Popeye. Okay, vote for your favorite. Next up, the pay while crying a single tear. Float away. nightmares about. Time to vote. Next in line, Harry Potter can do a really weird and obscure spell that allows him to blank. Okay, vote! <laughs> Next, a great way to cheat on a sex education test! Get to voting! Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> round two is upon us, and all points are doubled. Take that, round one.
These better be good. First one. A good sign there's an invisible man living in your apartment. Okay, pick your favorite quip now. Next is the number one reason people flunk out of ninja school. Put in your votes. Next in the hopper, a get well card for someone injured by a robot. Ready, set, vote! Okay, next one. How to make golf more exciting. It's voting time. on deck, somebody who would make a terrible soccer goalie. Vote away. You survived round two. Let's see if your scores did. That's right, it's round three, the last lash. Look alive because you're all getting the same prompt this time. Complete this word lash task. Let's see the responses. Present your medals now. Okay, everyone, let's see who got those medals. Bronze. Show me the silver. And the gold. All right, let's turn that into cold, hard points. Okay, let's see those final scores.
A reminder to all agents, we have a camera on the coffee pot, so we know when you take the last cup and don't refill the pot. This is your final warning. Oh. Breathe it in. Attention, Sector 5 interns. The toilet cam is in need of cleaning. All right. Interesting. Deep cleaning. Foolish. All right. Interesting. Breathe it in. Ha! Mm-hmm. Foolish. Interesting. Reminder to all agents. Mm -hmm. The company picnic is this Friday. Interesting. The time. Well, I've played all the Tetris I can stand for the next few days. The only thing left to do? No, not switch to Dr. Mario. Take all the info your government has collected on its citizens and use it to play a little game I like to call... Gespionage! Time to play! First up... Have I ever told you all my brother was killed by falling prices? What percentage of people have visited a Walmart between midnight and 4 a.m.? Give it your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. Okay, we have a guess. 64%. Everyone else, now it's your turn. Do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Right. Everyone is saying lower. And the correct answer is... 5%. You should see the camera footage. It looks like a David Lynch movie in there. Who said higher? Yikes. No one guessed correctly. Oof. Okay, who's up next? All right. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. What percentage of people are really just terrible at using chopsticks? Sixty percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Interesting. Only one of you thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... Thirty-five percent! <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching a chopstick montage that's gone viral at the agency. <laughs> it's never not funny. Who got it right? Here's some points. Who's next? Foolish rules. Considering everyone in this department has dated another agent at some point, I think we can appreciate this. What percentage of people are still friends with all of their exes? Fourteen percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Interesting. All right. Unanimously higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. Eight percent. And I bet they all live in Texas. All got it wrong. Boo. Next up. Uh, I don't know. How about... What percentage of people have binge-watched entire seasons of a TV show in one day? A day they'll never get back. Six percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? All right. It's unanimous again. And the correct answer is... 78%. Thanks for helping me kill an entire Sunday, Netflix. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you. 
next? Interesting. Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of people usually request no ice in their water or soft drinks at restaurants? Five percent. Okay, higher or lower? All right. Everyone says higher except for one of you. Now let's get to the right answer. Twenty percent. I've got big points for that guess. Who got it right? Here's some points. Who's in the lead after round one? All right. Interesting. Can you keep that lead after round two? Time to find out. Who's up first? All right, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? What percentage of people have a collection of bath products they've taken from hotels? Got it. 24%. In round two, you can now guess much higher or much lower. Pick one of those if you think the answer is off by 15% or more. If you're correct, you're Mama's little angel. You get double the points. All right. Interesting. Everyone thinks it's higher. Okay, right answer is... 44%! It starts with tiny hotel shampoo bottles. Pretty soon, it's packets of artificial sweetener. After that, I'm afraid there's no way back. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. And what have we here? Good job! Double points for guessing much higher. Okay, who's up next? All right. All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. What percentage of women use wax more frequently than other body hair bulk removal methods? Forty-five percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? 100%. Looks like an even split. Okay, let's see the right answer. 5%! Terrible guess. You need to be within 30% to even get points. Who got it right? Nice job, I've got some points for you. Next up. Turn your head and cough, please. What percentage of people have knowingly eaten dishes that contain testicles? 30%. All right, what do you think? All right. Interesting. One of you is saying higher. And Surveil says... 7%! At least they know they're eating testicles. Let's see who got it right. Well done. You get points. Who's next? Let's see. What would be good? How about this? What percentage of people go by their middle names? 
40%. Everyone pick higher or lower. Ooh, all right. Interesting. Lower across the board. Okay, right answer is... 3%! Thank goodness Harry Truman didn't go by his middle name. Just look it up. Who got it right? Nice job! I've got some points for you. Next up! Interesting. Oh, this is gonna be good. What percentage of people look at their cell phones on the toilet? Three percent. Okay, higher or lower? All right. It's unanimous again. Okay, let's see the right answer. Ninety-three percent. I'm really curious about that seven percent who find taking a dump too sacred for reading text messages. Let's see who got it right. Smart. Yes. Here's your points. Uh-oh, final round time. Through sophisticated population profiling, we found the most popular answers to this question. Who do most people find to be the most annoying celebrity? And here are the most popular answers. You have three guesses. The three most popular answers are worth points. Ready, go! See what answers you chose. Okay, computer, show us the most popular answers. And the winner is. Congratulations, you seem to know everyone's secrets. Remind me never to cross you. No, I'm just saying a tweezer cam is gross. Yeah, but we have to inspect nostril trackers. One aggressive nose pick and it's out of place. Good point. Yeah, so if you could ask her to call me back at the field office, that'd be great. This is Agent Warner. Thanks, bye. What? I hear you. Why do you refer to yourself as Agent Warren? Because it's my name. Your first name. So? You're doing the whole one name thing like Madonna? I gotta go. Lunch plans. Ooh. You meeting Ranger Rick and Fire Marshal Bill? How do you know Warren's not my first and last name? Because I've known you for seven years. Have you? Nameplate's right Three, there on your desk. Two, Is it? One. You are so annoying. The subliminal messaging worked! You're back for another game of... Espionage! Okay, who's first? A little something we can all relate to. What percentage of people, when using public toilets, normally choose to squat without touching the seat? Okay, we have a guess. 30%. Okay, everyone else. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. I hear you. 
just one person says lower. Now let's get to the right answer. 9%! Gah, oh, those 9% really make it hard to get everyone's butt cheek DNA on file. Who got it right? Nice job! I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? You know, I kind of still believe that aliens helped build the food pyramid. What percentage of people pretty much always look at nutrition labels when food shopping? Thirty-two percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Just one person says lower. And Surveil says... 21%! When shopping at McDonald's, it's 0.21%. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points! Who's next? I hear you. I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people have vaped? 32%. Everyone else, higher or lower? One lonely vote for lower. And the correct answer is... 32%! You got it right on the money. Better than that, you got it right on the eye of the pyramid on the back of the money. No points for anyone else. Next up. I'm going to search for... What percentage of people take their Oreos apart before eating them? 81%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Just one of you is saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 46%! It's true, there really are two kinds of people in the world. Who got it right? Nice job, I've got some points for you. That's it for round one. Let's take a look at the scores. I hear you. Onward to round two, where things work a little differently, but I'll get to that in a bit. Let's start with you. Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What percentage of people prefer to watch Family Guy over The Simpsons? 64%. Got it. 64%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? One of you thinks it's higher. And the correct answer is... 36%! And the Simpsons run away with it. A victory for somewhat less offensive family values. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? We know the men can all do it, but... What percentage of women can burp on command? 29% Alright, what do you think? I hear you. 
Everyone says higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 43%! Delicate little flowers, all of you. Who got it right? Well done! You get points! And what have we here? Ugh, I'm sorry. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. Who's next? I hear you. Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. When snapping photos, what percentage of people use standalone cameras? Fifty-six percent. Okay, higher or lower? It's unanimous again. Okay, right answer is... Nine percent! Terrible guess. You need to be within 30 percent to get points. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you! Okay, who's up next? Most important meal of the day, folks. What percentage of people were allowed to have sugary cereals as children? 62%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Just one person says lower. And the correct answer is... 88%! Solidly mediocre. You got it right. Well done. You get points. It's time for the final round. We embedded microchips in hundreds of subjects and found the most popular answers to this question. What downloadable phone app do people consider essential? Here are the most popular answers. You have three chances to pick the most popular answers on the board. Good luck! Okay, let's see what you picked. Now let's take a look at the results. Who's gonna get the gold star? Who is it, boy? Who is it? It's... Congratulations! As a bonus prize, I'll tell you which presidents were really robots. Looks like I owe Paul $50. Well, let's start another game of... Gespionage! Who's up first? Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people talk on the phone for at least an hour per day? an answer. 
35%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Ooh, everyone thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... 15%! And yes, most of those people do sit right next to you on the train. No one? No one got it right? Lame. Next up... We've collected data about everything, even this. Between crew neck tops and V neck tops, what percentage of people prefer to wear crew neck tops? Anytime now, 57%. Everyone pick higher or lower. Everyone says higher except for one of you. And Surveil says... 68%! Yeah, okay, that'll get you some points. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? And now a question about true mixologists. What percentage of people have used Mountain Dew in a mixed alcoholic drink? Twenty percent. Okay, higher or lower? I hear you. Unanimously higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 39%! Try it with tequila. I won't. Who got it right? Here's some points. Who's next? All right, I have a good one. What percentage of people have, you know, put a laundry basket over a cat and pretended it was in a zoo? Sixty-three percent. Okay, higher or lower? Just one of you is saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. Thirty-eight percent! I thought that number would be much, much higher. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Let's see where things stand after round one. I hear you. Round two, here we come. Okay, who's first? All right, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? What percentage of people regularly use dryer sheets? 61%. Okay, everyone else, time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. Only one of you thinks it's higher, and the correct answer is... 65%! Excellent answer, points for you. Got it right. Ooh, points for you. Okay, who's up next? I think you're all tall enough for this question. 
What percentage of people have bought pictures of themselves on rides at amusement parks? Everyone else, higher or lower? I hear you. Just one of you is saying higher. And the correct answer is... 49%! Yeah, that look of nausea and terror is something you want a memento of. Let's see who got it right. Nice job! I've got some points for you. Next up. Obviously, this question is not about Becky. What percentage of women wear hats to hide bad hair days? 50%. All right, what do you think? Just one person says lower. And Surveil says... 27%! Still better than wearing hats to hide no hair days. Who got it right? Well done, you get points. Okay, who's up next? I'm going to search for... What percentage of people prefer the Rolling Stones to the Beatles? 60% What do y'all think? Higher or lower? One lonely vote for lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 23%! Sorry, Mick. You can't always get what you want. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Uh-oh, final round time. By mining social media, we found the most popular answers to this question. What do people identify as their biggest pet peeve? Now let's see the answers. You'll need to pick the three most popular answers to get points. Ready, go! Let's see what everyone picked. And what are the most popular answers? Who's my hero? Who's my hero? It's... You played this game like 87% of people wish they could, and only 21% of them could ever hope to. Hey Tina, you get any interesting results from tapping into those cell phone cameras? Oh yeah, 50% of the people were taking selfies, 60% of which were in front of a bathroom mirror. 40% of those were scantily clad gorgeous females, 100% of which reminded me that I need to up my personal grooming game. Yikes. Yeah.
I wouldn't have thought 55%, though. Are you sure about those numbers? Oh, yeah. It may not make sense to us, but that's how people under 30 eat corn on the cob. But why do you need a parasol? It doesn't work otherwise. 